Hi, this is Pat Johnson, your psychology instructor, and this is a short video on Phineas Gage. So, Phineas Gage was a very well respected worker foreman on a railroad, and in 1848 he experienced a freak accident where a tamping iron um, was blown through his cheek and up through the top of his head and the miracle was that Phineas lived in spite of the severity of the wound and the real lack of um, medical care, sophisticated medical care that was available in that day and time. So if you take a look at the pictures here, we can see um, this photo right here is interesting because it only turned up in the last few years. Um, it was not in uh, psychology textbooks for the first oh many, many years of my teaching, and then it was discovered um, not very long ago. But here's what happened. Um, so the rod was about an inch and a half thick and it was blown through his cheek behind his eye and up through the top of his head. And there are various um, uh, rotations of the head here when you can see what happened. Let's take a look at this one in particular. If you notice, we can see that a lot of that uh, frontal lobe was damaged and uh, so not only was there great um, massive damage to his face when the the rod went you know through here but a lot of the frontal lobe was damaged and if you remember from our discussion of the four lobes that frontal area and especially what we call the prefrontal cortex meaning the very front of the frontal lobe is those higher order functions of reason and planning and control and motivation and a lot of that area was destroyed um, on Phineas and he still had a fully functioning limbic system. If you remember, the limbic system is on the in towards the middle of the brain, above the brain stem, and the the um, the limbic system was fully functioning. So he still had all those emotions that uh, would be normal, but he didn't have that control feature, that uh, motivation, that planning, that um, those functions of the frontal cortex and so what was written about him after the accident was that he was very um, emotionally unstable he was very loud he was very profane he could not uh, work as a foreman although he did work um, some after the accident and uh, he lived I believe it was 10 12 years after the accident and then uh, died uh, again you know, over a decade uh, after the accident. Um, but that's Phineas Gage. There's a lot of information out there on him. Uh, his skull is preserved, as is the rod that blew who, through his brain. And um, there's actually a memorial to him in Cavendish, Vermont, where the accident happened. And this skull and the rod are um, housed at the Warren Museum at Harvard University. So that's the story of Phineas Gage.